Happy Valentine's Hello. Day, everybody! I I feel like I said that a little bit in the vein of like Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. But Boys and girls. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's that big a deal. Yeah. Um, so if you don't know about Valentine's Day, it kind of started off as an alternative to Valentine's Day, as yes. far as I'm aware. Yeah. But like spending time with your friends, maybe your gal pals. But I feel like it's now just a bit of a celebration of love of things other than like relationships. Yeah. It can just yeah. be like it's a love day for everything. And for yeah. us it's a love of sewing. It yeah, fits in very well. We often like an excuse to make a fuss of sewing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you might have but we didn't have to kind of elbow this one so much because yeah. here it is. Um so we decided our take on Valentine's Day this year would be thinking about like the love of your wardrobe and the love of clothes in general and that means we've kind of interpreted it a little bit differently very different yeah. each when when we started i don't think we had like a really clear idea on what exactly it was going to be and we've all gone different ways yeah very which, nice. which is yeah. nice because then you can see like the different interpretation exactly. of a theme variations yes. on a theme <laughs> <laughs> so we're each going to go through and talk a little bit about our Valentine's Day true love for this year. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a show and tell, isn't it? Yeah. So, yes. Today I've brought with me my, my Martha dress. <gasps> I would you like it's a big surprise I'm wearing it. Um, <laughs> and you may remember, or may not, I don't know. I actually made this dress for the Valentine's Day last year. We yes. made a, a, something for ourselves. A special to give dress. Yeah. Ourselves. Um, but the reason I've I thought of this dress is because I wear it so often and I do, I do genuinely Making wear it a lot because I wear it with things underneath it so I layer it, I dress it down, I dress it up, I've worn it out, I just wear it to work. Mm -hmm. um, Great. I, I think because something about having this a black dress in the wardrobe yes. is very versatile. Um, although it's like yeah, I never think of making things completely in one colour or all in black because you just as you're sewing, it's like, oh, it's not exciting. <laughs> However, I've worn this the most out of anything yeah. I've made. <laughs> um, and also because it was the first time I really like spent a lot of time on the fitting and made a twirl. That's and true. Took my time and yeah, I'm sorry everyone, but taking your time, doing all the steps, yes. worth it. making a twirl. Yeah. Let's make it work. Well, yeah. Well, no, we don't always want to hear it. <laughs> no. uh, so yeah, I think that's a big part. No, but that's a testament to the fact that it's worth it. Yeah. yeah Taking exactly. your time and sewing something sensible, which I cannot subscribe to. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you're sort of like you. I feel like something like that when you put it on, you remember that a little bit mm. as well, and you feel a little bit proud of that's yourself. Nice. Yeah. So yes. it's sort of giving back to you as well. It's oh, your skills. I love that. And I think it's worn quite well. I think being black yeah. is quite good because you can just. Like re dye it to give it yes. a nice Ooh, thing. thing. I haven't yet, yeah, but I have done it. Don't need it yet. No, I don't even need it. I think sometimes I might, with linen you can see that it wears yeah, down. Yeah, that yeah. hasn't at all. It's really good. Um, and I might maybe buy some seams or something to try and give it a bit more longevity. Oh, because you just, um, you don't have another locket. I don't no. think we mention it enough, no. which I yes. think is a great thing. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't have another locket, well, yeah, I no. think it is, because it shows you you can make anything. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I Sometimes people are like, oh, I don't have one, so I probably can't sew anything. No, no I do. Lies. <laughs> I do it all still with just the zigzag, zigzag. stitch. Good. Um, which is, it's hot. I think it's holding up pretty well, to be honest. It really is. But, um... Oh yeah, I've done it. Double on here, sorry. No, <laughs> um, but I think I will um, go over some of these just to give it the longevity because linen can fray a bit fray, more yeah. than it. Yeah. So binding is a good option. That's yeah. true. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Well, I love it. I love yeah. it. Every time yeah. you yes, wear it, love, <laughs> love it. That's a great angle of like something you love, something you made a year ago. I don't mm. think we revisit necessarily mm. things that we've made yes. a while back. Yeah. That's it. Especially, Especially like, like on social, social media. It's like new, new. You, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, true love, true love. Martha dress. Oh, I do um, love it. It's beautiful. Thanks. I love it. Um, and now you're going to wear your Martha yeah. dress. I am going to, yeah, so <laughs> I'm actually going to wear my Martha dress and I'm going to head off and pick up the kids, so. There is left, but there's still a lot of uh, love to be shared. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's abandoned us, but um, <laughs> yeah. you want to tell yeah. us more. So in a sort of similar vein to Chloe, I wanted to celebrate an old make, which is Probably my most made, my most worn make okay. ever, but I've never talked about it, and you guys are probably not I've seen, seen it. it. No, <laughs> about it. Yeah, this is an ultimate t shirt that I made uh, I don't know, 18 months ago. Um, 
Now, for a bit of context, <laughs> um, my other great passion okay. in life, apart from sewing, is hiking and um, particularly long distance hiking. And I made this ultimate t shirt in a merino wool to wear while Ooh. hiking. And I just love it, it's fantastic. I went on three long distance hikes last year. This came with me on all of them, which is like the ultimate test because weight and space is a premium. Oh, that's true. <laughs> like, that's it's so got to make the top. Yeah, I'm bringing one max two tops. Like, it has to be good. And it's, just, yeah, I just love it. I love everything about it. I love the sleeve length, it's great for layering. The, like, it, I just climb. <laughs> it, it dries quickly, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's really breathable, so you don't have to wash it. I don't think you need to wash merino wool very much at all. No, it's no, really, really that's true. good for that. Is that the sort of breathability and the lightness of it? Why you choose merino for that sort yeah, of thing? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. yeah, and it is a little bit pricey, and it can yeah. be quite hard to get hold to find of. Find it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in this country, but it's not as pricey as if you were to buy a ready-to-wear merino no, yeah. bracelet. Yes. They're very expensive. Very true. Um, and then it is finished with this little. Um, <laughs> What do you call it, Amma? An it's iron on? An iron on vinyl. Yeah, so Amma really. A hiking boot. <laughs> yeah. Amma really kindly made that for me for my uh, city set. Oh, you bag. bag. Yeah, and you gave me a few <laughs> extras, so obviously it had to go on. Thank you. Um, that's all I had to say, but oh, I just really like it. Yeah. Yeah. When else would you talk about it? You're not going to do it. like a super, uh, like a big post about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 That's it. I think basics. Yeah, basics. Like, need functional love. clothes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's not all, what is it, cake and icing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The more you're talking about it, I'm like, my theme for today is not fitting in at all. <laughs> okay, it was all interpreted. That's, That's true. Right. It's true. Yeah. I love me some icing. I'm sorry. Should we go back to the icing? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was looking at my current wardrobe and what I'm reaching for all the time. Mm. And also kind of like the last few things that I've sewn in the last six months or so. And um, I've realised that a theme has emerged <laughs> and the theme is houndstooth um, like I'm wearing today so do you think it's fair to say you I feel like you when you find something you love I get you go really hard at it yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah that's absolutely fair to say I just get very tunnel vision yeah. and I make everything fit to but the theme that works because yeah. then everything so then, goes yeah that's, that's, it. It. that's, that's it. very it. true yeah. very very true so I, I think this one was the first thing actually it's a houndstooth jersey that I bought a while back and I decided to make an Estelle dress in. And then, uh, when we were making mm. the samples for the Jesse Cotigan add-on yes, last with year, the with the lining, um, Rosie and I saw this giant house tooth, and uh, Rosie made a Jesse Cotigan in that, and then she, there was a little bit left, and you said, why don't you make a matching Ava? And I did. <laughs> and then I've recently made a matching uh, poppy dog coat for my <laughs> dog, Roy. <laughs> So we have a whole matching house to theme there. Um, I've also made, I actually got uh, purple and lilac hands to fabric printed. Ooh. As in I designed oh, it. Yes. A design, you know, it's just changing the colours. But yeah. I made a viola blouse in that. Very I love cute. it so much. And I have a, um, like a cotton sateen, I think. So yeah, a cotton with a bit of stretch. Um, with black and white houndstooth, but it's kind of abstract, yeah. so it's not as neat. It's a little bit more like hand-drawn. <laughs> and um, I've got that earmarked for Smile to It trousers when it gets a little mm, bit warmer. Yes. And I thought, because right now I, I need to wear tights with trousers. <laughs> I'm, I'm weak like that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to need to wait for it to be a bit more springtime. But yeah, there's, that's the love that's emerged. Yeah. I hadn't quite noticed. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes it happens mm. though, doesn't it? Like, yeah. you just try one thing and it opens up yeah. so much so more. So much stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you see it everywhere. I yeah. think it goes well with the purple as well. It does, goes, I think the monochrome yeah. goes with the purple, which helps. It's yeah. true. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and also it's uh, you can find it in lots of, so I've got a wool, I've got a stretch cotton, I've got yeah, a jersey. Yeah, you can get it in lots of, so in lots of these different true. fabrics. And uh, it feels, there's something fancy about it. It does, no, it's it classy and dressy. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. So yeah, that's, that's my current love. It was really nice. Yeah. So when you just go like, oh, I've got a theme, another theme, not just purple. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, it's yeah. I thought it was really nice that we got to think about yeah. our wardrobe mm. in, with a little bit more 
like step away, step away and, and have a look. And see. Yeah. And all you can see is Hampstead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so yeah. I'm kind of happy. And now maybe I'll, we'll embrace it even more. Maybe I'll look out for more things. Yeah. I didn't yeah. realise I have some gloves with a bit of Hampstead as well. It's just like it's meant to be. In. Meant to be. Right. You in this with Roy with the gloves. Yes. <laughs> on a walk. The jacket. Oh, uh, Jesse Cotigan. Yeah. I love it. Glorious. Need a hat maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then you, Rosie, you've I actually done a different did something. Thing. Yeah, you I did some sewing. Yeah. I know. Love. Yeah. love. <laughs> so I had a little look through my wardrobe. I'm trying to think how this came about. Whether we, I was just talking about my Ravello dress in general. I've got so I've got a gorgeous um, maxi Ravello dress um, in an amazing galaxy print that I love so much Stunning. i think it's possibly my most favorite fabric in the whole world oh, that i've ever right. sewn with um but it is also a maxi dress galaxy print <laughs> basically ballroom ball gown yeah, kind of style yeah, yeah. that i don't wear it just sits in my wardrobe i've worn it for a party once and i was sad about that yeah and i thought about well, a different way of giving love to your wardrobe is giving love via a transformation yeah. and maybe making something into something new and doing that scary thing of cutting up something yeah. that you've made in a little way. Um, so it's kind of scary than <laughs> that. And I know it definitely started when we were talking and you nipped to the loo. Yeah, I came back, I was like, Had why an idea not? in the loo. And then... <laughs> that happens more often than, than you think. Walked back into the room, being like, make it into a top. Yeah. And that's where it started. But I did it with two things. So this used to be a Frida dress. Yeah. Um, so different. So, yeah. so different. It's it was a midi dress. Line. I cut it off. Um, I, yeah, put it on measured where I wanted it to be, then when I took it off, I measured up from the hem to get that all the way around. And it's actually quite nice doing it that way as well, because it, it makes sure it kind of fits, the hem length fits you properly all the way around. Yeah. But you preserve, like, Frida, I think, has got a little curve in the hem, mm. um, or mine did, at least, on my um, dress. So it's kind of kept that at the sides yeah, as well. You keep those so features. Nice. Mm. And it's, yeah, it's changed it into a little boxy top. It's it got, like, a little so bit of volume. You. So you. It just ends just neatly enough to maybe do a little tuck with my peggies or not like that. Um, so it's it. shorter than the Frida blouse is. Yes. yes like by the pattern. Yeah. But I wasn't wearing the dress no. at all. And I will wear this. You'll see it a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I reckon. A black t shirt it's with really, something really jazzy really in it. <laughs> Perfect. So that was my first transformation. And then I'm going to do a little <laughs> into my second transformation. That's the transitions today. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Transformation uh, from fancy, fancy maxi dress into a cute little top. Way more wearable. Yeah, I think. really, really it's wearable. So good with those peggies. With the pink yeah. peggies. Yeah. Pink on with pink the on pink. black peggies that you've just made. Oh, yeah. I think even with the green, green peggies, because it's got a little bit. I think green. with all the peggies. All the peggies. All the peggies. That's so cute. Um, yeah, so Ravello actually does have a top version to it. Various so ones. I mean if you're thinking about it you could just make the top version yeah. first if that's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like very much backwards engineered this. Um, <laughs> but all I did was chop off the skirt um five centimeters below the waist seam. Yeah. So I'd have a little yeah. bit of something to tuck in and just hemmed that and that's literally it. Well, that's it. That's it. I oh there's maybe some pleats in the skirt and I just stitched those down in this little section I've got oh, here. Great. So um they wouldn't sort of flap and so open pretty. up. But yeah, it's um, really nice. We should say the Ravello is one of the patterns in our Summer Dreaming yes, ebook. Yes. And yeah, I think there's four versions included in the ebook. It's like yeah. top, top, middle, top. Like this sort of length <laughs> yeah. where you could tuck it in, tuck sort it of in. top. Sort of peplum top. Yeah. And, no, sorry. or a short dress uh, and long dress. Yeah, short dress, oh, long dress. And so two, two tops, tops and two dresses. dresses same yeah. Way. And really, really versatile. Really versatile. And I love your dress, but I think okay. this, mm. and I'll you're wearing wear it, it so much more often. And it, you can wear it so much more of the year as well. Yeah, as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just yeah. Yes, yes, that's yeah. so true. Because I could layer it up. I'm always yeah. warm, so I could yeah, layer it off true. and wear it now. Mm. I'd be absolutely fine. You could wear it with your new Sorrento jacket. Well, well I know. I'm going to the show the I'm going to the theatre tomorrow. <laughs> and I was just should I grab it? Grab it, yeah. Because we'll do more in-depth content about this because it's an incredible thing we're that Rosie has made. So we're it. so obsessed. Yeah. But I think if you just maybe don't show the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Only show only the outside. But yeah, look at oh, that. Yeah. 
I love that. Ah! So it's a super it's hack got... of the Sorrenta jacket pattern, which is also from Summer Dreaming. Oh yeah. I love this. Yeah. yeah. And what even with the black peggies, it will be even more Ooh. of like a suit. Mm. That would be like cool. Like a country suit. <laughs> it's it's very country. <laughs> but that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go so well. Oh, I love it. More on this soon, we promise. Yeah, this is a tease. This is just a tease. <laughs> but it is, um, I think, my favourite thing you've ever made. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Personally, I adore it. No, I'm very, very uh, pleased. Very, very really pleased. Um, but, yeah, yeah cool. through that, like, I think you, because you texted us, didn't you? It was like, oh, I've done it. Yeah, I've I transformed know. two tops in one evening that you oh, stayed behind goodness. that work. It was so That's quick. It. Yeah, <laughs> I thought, like, I'll plan it out tonight yeah. and maybe sew it tomorrow night. It's so, so quick once you've got the idea and if yeah. you're just willing to give it a go as yeah, well, you have, you have to, to take a bit of a go. risk. I think with something, I've done things like this before and I always think if it doesn't work, there's enough fabric for yes. me to make something else yeah. out of it. Yeah. Like a little um, bum bag, for example, which yeah. I would never tire of making. <laughs> like, try and see it that if it doesn't go exactly to yeah. plan, it's still not waste. That's if you're it. trying to make it, if you're not wearing it, you're not wearing it. I know, it. exactly. So that's a waste. That's a worse waste, mm. I think. Yeah, and I guess... Like the other positives, if, if it doesn't necessarily work out, you've learned something along the way. Yes, yeah. You've maybe learned how to do it a different way another Next time. Next time, yes, absolutely. So I like, think it's all, like, be brave. Yeah. <laughs> Breathe love into those things yes. that are sitting at the back of your wardrobe. Exactly. And you might end up with new favourites. Exactly, I think I have. Or I make yourself really have. a very, very... Um, hero, a big yeah, hero yeah, yeah, yeah. that you might not think is a hero piece because it's hidden away from yeah. everyone, <laughs> but it's your hero. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, or set your eyes on um, a specific a theme, pattern, yeah. theme, colour, yeah. I can highly recommend yeah. that. Yeah, lean in. Lean in. Lean in. Lean in. Lean in to something, yeah. Um, but hopefully uh, we've given you some little ideas, yeah. things to think about this Valentine's yes. Day. <laughs> yeah, and have a think if there's anything you love in your wardrobe and let us know. Yeah. Yes. Um, are there any of your like die-hard patterns that you keep going back to? Yeah. Or, yeah, secret fades that you didn't really realise yeah. that you wear every day. Mm. Yes. There's some things I think I Actually, don't even think you don't think, about. You don't even think that you made them anymore. Oh, no, just like, so they're like there. Yeah. I have to say, my for last year's Galentine's, when um, Chloe made her Martha, I made a Sidbury slip Oh, yeah. Pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In that uh, roses fabric yeah. that you've made something in yeah. as well. I um, wore it a few times in winter with other tights and things, which was the original idea. But in summer, when we had that heat wave and I was working from home, no one's seen me because so, it is short, so, <laughs> is that I wouldn't go out in it without tights. But at home, I wore it so much and that was a yeah. complete surprise to me. But I was like, I, I cannot stand clothes in this year yeah. and I'm at home and this is my uniform now it's perfect <laughs> so there's things it. that yeah maybe when you make it you're just like oh yeah it's nice that's it, and but then, then you reach for it. Reaching, reaching. Yeah. That's it, yeah. You might find it has a different purpose. Yes, exactly. It originally made became for. my house yeah. dress. Yeah. <laughs> my house dress uniform. <laughs> oh. But yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we're always curious to know. Mm -hmm. um, let us know what you find out when you step back and look at your yes. wardrobe, your recent makes and your wardrobe. <laughs> and um, as always, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel. And we'll be back, I think, pretty, pretty soon. soon. Yeah. Pretty sure. Right this second, I can't think of what's <laughs> yeah. coming next, but we have a plan. We have a plan. <laughs> we'll be back for sure. <laughs> and see you all next time. Oh, Bye. Bye.